over a year in the making, but we are finally finished with our version 2.4 Iron Man Repulsor Circuit with light and sound effects, and I wanted to show that off to you today. So, let me introduce you to our new Repulsor Circuit. Online and ready, sir. Power has been rerouted to the Repulsor and all systems are fully functional. There are six different profiles that you can switch between via a magnetic call effect sensor. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the second profile. You have switched to firing profile two, sir. That way you could do this in costume if you're wearing a full Iron Man suit or if you have a magnetic wand, you can easily switch uh, the sound profiles. There's also a volume knob, so you can increase the volume. Firing profile three has now been activated. Not only are the sound profiles customizable for the firing power up and power down sounds on each of the six profiles, but also the Jarvis sound files are customizable. So you could have him say whatever you want, or you could just put a simple beep in there to let you know that you have switched between the different sound profiles. Our circuit is fully customizable. You can uh, control the sound files via the SD card. You can control the lighting effects via three trim pots that are on the circuit itself. Just by simply adjusting those, you can customize the light effects to match the sound files that you put on uh, the repulsors. This is the pinnacle of everything that we've been working towards over the last couple years. And we are proud to be able to show this to you today and to be able to offer it for you as well. So make sure you check out the links here and in the description and I'm going to show you a little bit more about the circuit itself coming up so if you're interested in that hang around and take a look all right so here's our circuit and uh, all the components that come with it uh, obviously you get a battery pack with two lithium-ion rechargeable batteries and that has an on and off switch it also comes with a speaker uh, LED disc that's specifically designed for this repulsor circuit uh, a quick connect and then you've got your two sensors the one on the inside is the magnetic sensor that will switch between the different sound profiles and the one on the outside is the magnetic sensor that triggers the uh, firing effect so uh, on the circuit board itself it's protected with the heat shrink you've got your three trim pots that will adjust um, the lighting effects so um, on the outside that's your fade out time in the middle is your fade in and then the one um, closest to the wires is going to be your standby light level you've got your volume knob and your SD card and just in case you're wondering what the circuit looks like without the heat shrink uh, I do also have one here this is an example of the precision and craftsmanship that goes into the circuit itself uh, we spent a lot of time designing this and just perfecting it down to I mean the smallest capacitor on here was selected specifically for this circuit so um, all of the components are micro S, uh, um, SMD components 
and on the back you've got nothing so you don't have to worry about damaging anything as you're mounting uh, the board into your gauntlet. So you've got your volume knob here and your SD card with the uh, SD card slot. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick demonstration of the circuit itself so you can see like the components of the circuit functioning. Um, first when you turn it on you'll be greeted with Jarvis So you can adjust the volume as well. And um, when you first turn it on, it's going to default to sound profile one, and then you can switch to whichever sound profile you prefer. Uh, we've got a total of six different profiles on the, the circuit board. Um, so you can customize uh, the sound files for each one. The lighting effects, there's three different lighting effects. So your sound profiles one, two, and three are different, and then it repeats again for four, five, and six. So this is the first uh, profile, and I'm gonna go ahead and trigger that effect, and what you'll notice is that it's set up to just do a quick blast and, and, and deactivation sequence. So uh, that's gonna be most similar to what you'll see in the film itself. Uh, and once you trigger the effect, it can't be stopped or interrupted. So it's just going to go through the cycle, and then it'll be ready for another, uh, re, you know, re-triggering the effect. I'll go ahead and put the um, speaker on a cardboard box. That's going to help with the reverberations. So it doesn't matter if you uh, trigger it and then move the, you know, your magnets away, um, which, are, you know, if you have everything installed in your gauntlet, that would be putting your wrist back into the firing position and then relaxing. It doesn't matter, you know, if you do that or not. It's still going to go through the whole cycle. Okay, and if you switch... You have switched to firing profile two, sir. And on profiles two and five, uh, it's set up to do a blast. Um, the blast sound effect is a little bit longer, uh, and the light will power up to 100% and hold there as long as you remain in the activation position. Um, and then when you relax your hand, then it will uh, trigger the deactivation. And that also means that you can interrupt the cycle on this one. So if you activated it and then deactivated it real quick, then it would not go through the entire cycle. Um, and then on firing profile three has now been activated. Firing profile three and six uh, is set up to do a full power up without a, a blast effect. So, I'll show you. And this one can also be interrupted. So, uh, what I did on um, one of the other, my version 1.2 repulsor circuit that we put out, uh, what we did on that one is we actually loaded a full song into the deactivation uh, cycle. So you trigger the repulsor, and then when it deactivates, it'll start playing the song. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool. And you could do that with this one, but you can also still have your regular um, repulsor sounds, and then switch to the sound, uh, the the music, if you wanted to, on the fly, just by touching the the magnet to the switching sensor. You have activated firing profile four. Then you so can switch. Is that wise? Then you can switch to the sound profile that has that music. If you wanted to do that, or you can customize your own sound files and put whichever you want on there, and then you can adjust the lighting effects to match that sound file just by turning these two trim uh, trim pots right there. Sir, you have engaged firing profile five. Firing profile six is ready to use at your discretion. 
Sir, firing profile one is now active. All right, so there we have it. Um, if you're interested in getting one of these for yourself, make sure you click the link right here and it'll take you to our website or check down in the description for, for a link to our website as well. And uh, we'll be offering these up really soon. Thank you. Bye.